Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to download a free font from defont.com to use with Cricut Design Space. I'm going to be using a Mac computer, so these are the instructions when you use a Mac. When you find a font that you want, you're just going to click on download on the right hand side. It's a gray box. As you can see, when I click that, it went to download. I'm going to go into Finder. Your downloads are probably going to end up in your download folder, but mine are set to go to my desktop. So this is the font I just downloaded. So I'm going to double click on this to unzip. You get into the folder. This is just stating that this is a demo of this font and it's for personal use only which means that if you create a craft project or use this font in any way you cannot sell whatever you make with it if you are going to sell the item you make you need to purchase a commercial use license for that and they actually have a link um, on here right here showing where you can purchase that at now we need to install the font onto our computer. Sometimes you can just double click on this and it's going to open up your font book to install. I'm going to right click and I need to select to open it with font book. Now all you need to do is hit install font and now it is on our computer. I'm going to quit font book. And now I'm going to open up Cricut Design Space. If you are wanting to use a font you just downloaded with Cricut, you need to make sure that you are not signed into Cricut before you download your font because otherwise it won't be there. So now if we go to text, we can find our new font. And this is the one we just downloaded. Cool. Let's go ahead and fix the letter spacing on this. I see a lot of people always requesting a font like this, actually, in craft groups. Everything's really neat. All right, you guys, that's it. That's all you have to do. It's super easy. I hope this was helpful and you're able to now download and install your fonts on your MacBook for Cricut Design Space. If you have any questions about using DeFont or how to install using your Mac, please leave them down below and I will do my best to help you out. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye guys.